So breaking news here on Seahawks today. We were just about to push you out the video, and since then I've got my hair cut and changed shirts. But nonetheless, the Seahawks are going to play in Germany in 2022. They'll take on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The game will take place in Munich. It's going to be an early kickoff time, 6.30 a.m. Pacific on November 13th, the first time the Seahawks have ever played in Germany. I want to get your one reaction to the Seahawks playing this game across the pond. What do you guys think about the Seahawks playing in Germany? Give me one word of your thoughts. And are you going to make the trip? I hope my bosses let me go to Germany. We'll see. Welcome in to Seahawks Today, powered by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Happy to have you with us on today's show. We have the latest Seahawks news and rumors for you, including a new free agent signing for the Seahawks and an update on DK Metcalf, as well as the injury front for the Seahawks. But before we get to any of that, we want to hear from you guys in the comments section. Who's your favorite Seattle Seahawk of all time? There's so many to choose from, from all the great years of Seahawk football. Tell us in the comments who was your favorite Seahawk past, present, or maybe some, someone in the future. I'm hearing from producer Chugs that Sean Alexander's his guy. I'm curious what you guys think. Is Sean Alexander your guy? Is there somebody else out there? Let me know who you think is your favorite Seahawk of all time in the comments. Josh Jones is returning to the Seattle Seahawks as Niall Scott, the defensive tackle, was waived, and Jones will take his spot on the roster. Jones played for the Seahawks for just a little bit last year, four games, recorded 11 tackles and just one pass breakup in 2021, and now he's expected to add some depth of sorts to the the Seahawks secondary. We'll have more on that coming up in just a bit, as well as the injuries with the Seahawks in particular in their secondary, what those look like. But nonetheless, Josh Jones coming in to Seattle. Numbers weren't that great, but he didn't play a whole lot, just 10 games total. Spent part of the year with Indianapolis and now uh, back with Seattle where he finished 2021. Now, here at Chat Sports, we are so pleased to be partnered with our friends at BetUS. These guys are the best in the business. And here's how it works. You put $100 down, they'll do 125% deposit bonus, 200% with crypto. And you have to use the promo code Seahawks125 to get that deal. It's the best in the business. Chatsports.com slash bet to place your bets now. And the NBA title is not too far from now. The playoffs are in full swing, and it has been exciting every single night. Current odds right now from BetUS have the Golden State Warriors as the odds-on favorite at plus 225, Phoenix at 250, the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Miami Heat at 450, while the Boston Celtics are at plus 550. I know the Warriors are the favorites right now, folks, but I got to tell you, I like what I've seen from the Phoenix Suns. They got Devin Booker back. He's playing well, along with Chris Paul and that bunch. I'm all in on the Phoenix Suns. They were my pick before the season began. I'll stay with them now. And a decent value, not the favorites at the moment. So maybe you're like me and want to make a little money on the Suns or somebody else out there. Here's your chance to do so. Bet US, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code Seahawks125. Speaking of the NBA, you guys – I know the NBA might be a sore subject, but I got to tell you, wouldn't it be great if the Seattle Supersonics made their return to Seattle? Tell me in the comments section if you want to see the Sonics come back. Type Sonics if you want to see a return for the Seattle Supersonics in the very near future. You had the Kraken make their debut season in the NHL this year. I got to see them play a couple weeks ago. Pretty cool experience, but I want to hear from you guys. Do you want to see the Sonics make their return? And, you know, I won't say who it is because I don't want to piss too many people off, but my favorite NBA team, I'll uh, leave that to myself, uh, <laughs> might not make too many of you happy, uh, but if you understand where I'm from, you would you would get it. But nonetheless, uh, tell us in the comments section if you want to see the, the Sonics return to Seattle. Now on the show, let's tell you the latest on DK Metcalf. A couple things that we want to get to. His contract extension as well as foot surgery, as we heard from Pete Carroll this week on those things. Let's start off with the extension talks. 
DK Metcalf was on a podcast this week. The uh, podcast, he talked about his extension, as we've seen everybody in the National Football League that plays wide receivers pretty much getting paid right now. We'll show you the numbers here in just a second. But DK Metcalf is about the last guy left that has not been traded or extended. Here's what he had to say about his pending deal. I will say we're going to get something done. I think I'm going to be in Seattle for the next coming years. I'm not looking to be recruited. If the Seahawks trade me, that's one thing. If I'm looking to be traded, then that's another, but I'm looking right now. So, DK Metcalf wants to stay in Seattle, thinks the deal's going to get done soon. Here's the numbers on receivers right now. They ain't cheap. I can tell you that right now. Here's the highest paid wide receivers in the National Football League. Tyreek Hill, guaranteed money, $52.5 million there from the Dolphins. Chiefs didn't want to pay him that. That's why he's in South Beach now. Stephon Diggs at about $48 million guaranteed. DeAndre Hopkins, 42.8. Won't get all of that, though, with his six-game suspension. DJ Moore somehow got close to $42 million. That's insane. And A.J. Brown, another situation where the Titans didn't want to pay him. The Eagles said, we'll do it. Got him $40 million guaranteed. Meanwhile, the highest paid per year, that's where things are a little bit different here. Tyreek Hill still remains the highest at $30 million, But Devontae Adams after going from Green Bay to the Raiders, gets $28 million guaranteed. Hopkins, $27.3. A.J. Brown, $25 million. And Stephon Diggs, $24 million. So that is what the market looks like when it comes to wide receivers right now. They are not cheap. They are pricey. But I got to tell you, you have, I think, a superstar in D.K. Metcalf. He's only been in the league three years and has looked incredible. You got to do whatever it takes to keep this guy. How much money would you pay DK Metcalf? Let us know in the comments section. You're going to get an ad break. Take advantage of it. While that's ad, the ad's playing, tell us who you, how much DK Metcalf should be paid from the Seattle Seahawks. He wants to stay. What's it going to take to keep him there? Let us know. I'd pay DK whatever it takes. Now, the Seahawks are in a tough predicament when it comes to the salary cap. Right now, it's just about $13 million that they have to spend. But you have June 1, June 1 cuts on the way. And, uh, you know, we hear from people all the time that the salary cap is a myth of some sorts. But you have to pay DK Metcalf to be that talented and that young. He's got to stay around in Seattle for a long time as far as I'm concerned. Here's what Pete Carroll had to say on the injury front with DK Metcalf as well as uh, – Diggs and Adams on uh, that front with these guys all in recovery mode from this past season. He said he, meaning Metcalf, is out of a walking boot and has started his running as well. Like those two guys, Quandre Diggs and Jamal Adams, he is in total rehab mode right now and gets through that and out of that. More from Carroll. Jamal's probably the furthest along, as I understand it. But all the guys, it's all working, and they need to get that focus nailed down before we get back to full-speed football. They're all in on the meetings and all of that kind of stuff. So that's the latest from Pete Carroll. All of those guys appear to be on the right track. Here's what the defensive back depth chart looks like as of right now. You can see the safety positions, Diggs and Adams, your starters there, should be ready to go when the season starts. Trey Brown is still CB1 with Sidney Jones opposite of him, but with Kobe Bryant, the recent draft pick from the Seahawks there in the fourth round, you'd have to think that he's going to see a decent amount of playing time. Jones, who they just brought back, he'll be about your third string free safety, uh, You know, playing those safety spots. I don't know how much playing time he'll get per se, but nonetheless – he makes the depth chart and makes the 53-man as of right now, but we'll see what happens. I got to tell you, I like this Seahawks secondary. Is it perfect? No, but it might be my favorite group among this Seahawks team. When you look at the two safeties and you have a young cat and Kobe Bryant that I think is going to develop and be a really good pickup and such, and what they've done with those positions there. Uh, I, I like Trey Brown as well. This, to me, is a special group. Now, they have a ways to go, but I like what I'm seeing from this secondary group there in Seattle. What do you guys think? Do you like the defensive backs there for the Seattle Seahawks? If you do, 
Show them some love and like this video. Show them that uh, you appreciate them, you're rooting them on, like the video to show your uh, love and respect for the Seattle defensive backs. Now, coming up this week, we got a mailbag here on the channel where you guys send in questions, I have answers. And I want you guys to get those questions in. We didn't do a mailbag last week because we had all that draft coverage. So we got some making up to do here on the channel this week. So get your questions in now, and I'll answer the best ones on the show later this week. Use the hashtag Seahawks in the comments to get those questions in. You must be a subscriber to get your questions on the show as well. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. Be a subscriber. Be a part of the mailbag. Later this week, we'd love to hear from you.